My story about Sudan is very sad, interesting, fun, all of the above at the same time. So back in like 2021, I went down there and um, it was during the Muzaharat. And I remember I went out with my cousin. I told him I needed to go out to the Muzaharat. He kept telling me, no, no, we're not going to go. We're not going to go. It's dangerous. So one day I was like, look, either you slide with me and we go together or I'm going to slide by myself. So then my aunt got on him. She was like, yeah, you better slide with him. You better slide with him. He ends up coming with me and everything. We go and we walk in protesting for like eight hours from like 9 a.m., 8 a.m. until like Maghrib or something, right? We finally finish protesting and everything. No, actually, before we finish protesting, we get into this four-way intersection. I remember this very vividly. We get into a four-way intersection. My cousin disappears. I'm in this four-way intersection. Jinja, we come in from each corner, from each street. I'm standing there, don't know what to do. I see mad people running into a cafe. I'm like, bro, that's dumb. I see mad people just running around down the street. So I start running with them. And they're like, no, the police station is that way. I'm like, damn. All right, I turn back. Get stuck in the middle again. I see this boy just running to this crib. Last second I saw him, I'm like, yep, if it's the last thing I'm going to do on this earth, I'm going to catch him. So I end up catching up to him. And then his dad, like, sees me running behind him. So then he leaves the door open. Opens the door. I slide in. It's like an attic. They got, like, 12 people in there. They close the door, lock it up with a chain. We're sitting in there. As always, since we'd come and find us, they start to throw in tear gas through the little window through the attic because they saw us look peeping through. And then they come up to the door and start banking on it, talking about, get out, get out. Y'all want to protest and everything? Come on now, protest right now. So we all just sitting in there, pitch black, it's quiet. Nobody's saying a single thing. And the tear gas that got thrown in there, one of the guys had this little bucket. He just went and sat on top of it. We just sit in there for like 20 minutes. Then we hear the protesters pop out and they start throwing all these rocks and stuff at them. They disappear, the gingery disappears. I'm out and then I go on slide link with my cousin. Good story.